Welcome to Powering India's Tomorrow. My name is Rajiv Makhni. Now, we think of our mobile networks mainly as signals maybe on our phones, a tower nearby in the neighborhood, and some very high-tech equipment at the service provider level. But you know, there is so much more. What we may not know is that getting networks ready for 5G is as much a software game as hardware. And very soon, the complexity of operating networks will go beyond what any human can manage. So to leverage the full benefits of 5G and IoT, it's not only a smart business but business critical now for service providers to make investments in software solutions that make networks smarter, such as automation and orchestration. Ultimately, smarter network means smarter business. Now, you've probably heard about advanced 5G use cases which, thanks to ultra-low network latency and very high throughput, will absolutely revolutionize businesses and the day-to-day -day lives of us, the consumers. But none of these will be possible without 5G core, we call that 5GC, alongside 5G new radio, that is NR. You know, 5G core is a really, really interesting thing. It's a fundamental cornerstone of 5G networks. A 5G core network will enhance user experience, simplify operations, and enable very agile new service creation, which will open up more enterprise and consumer opportunities for communication and for service providers. <music> Which is why I'm absolutely thrilled to invite on the show Ludwig Landgren, Head of Digital Services for Southeast Asia, Oceania and India, Ericsson. And we're going to talk to him about how 5G Core can help service providers target new revenue opportunities. Thank you so much for joining us, Ludwig. Uh, thank you, Rajiv. Uh, great to, to be here and a uh, super question to kick it, kick it off. Uh, so now, Ludwig, there's a lot of discussion on radios when it comes to 5G rollouts. How does 5G Core fit into all that? Actually, I'd like to argue that for 5G core, this is where there is most of the ch uh, change in the, in the network as you move to 5G. Why is that? Because in core is where the whole virtualization journey has started. So with the virtualization, it's, it's really a huge transformation of the uh, infrastructure because no longer do you have the software and the hardware bundled into, into one and the same uh, product, but it's actually a cloud-based layer. And what is also happening in the 5G core is that it's containerized. So you might have seen also from uh, many of the vendors, including Ericsson, we uh, are really in the forefront of uh, the containerization. So we've containerized our whole 5G core, and that is what is being put in place now. So most of the transformation, I would say, happens in the core. So Ludwig, what's the success you've met globally when it comes to 5G core? So it's, uh, it's tremendous, uh, Rajiv, the, uh, the momentum that we see uh, globally uh, across the world. There's about 160 networks that are now uh, 5G uh, enabled. And of those 160, half of those networks are with, uh, with Ericsson. So it's, uh, it's absolutely tremendous, um, the momentum that we see. And the 5G core is maybe where we are the absolute strongest. We see uh, an enormous momentum there, especially in this uh, region. So India, Southeast Asia and Australia, where we are even beyond the 50% of the, of the market share. And this is far beyond our uh, existing market share in the legacy technologies. So we see a much stronger position for us in 5G than we see in earlier technologies. Wow, so this is critical, right? Can you talk a little bit about the journey of operators from NSA to SA networks? Yeah, it, it, it is a journey. And um, uh, it is a journey that most operators are doing sort of the same journey. So it is first NSA and then SA. And NSA has the beauty that you actually don't need to, uh, at least with Ericsson infrastructure, you don't need to change any components. So you can use the exact same hardware, you just load a different software uh, layer on it, and that gives you NSA. So it's a very simple, simple change. Then, as I mentioned earlier, that the transformation is tremendous in the core because we move not only from native to virtual, but also virtual to containerized. This is a huge change in, in the architecture. And that change happens when you move from NSA to SA. So it's both an architecture change as well as a complete software change. You can still reuse a lot of the hardware, but you are doing a very big change in the, in the network. And why is that architecture change? Well, because it gives a lot of new benefits that you don't have in the previous uh, uh, architectures. Uh, SA gives not only the 
tremendous increase in uh, latency in the network, but also the possibility to do continuous slicing and you can do on the on the fly slicing in the network. So SA is a real game changer in terms of, of 5G. So Ludwig, let's do a little bit of a deep dive into what we're just talking about. Do you think fully containerized 5G core is the best way to create an agile 5G network and faster rollout of services? Absolutely. It, it, uh, it has to be containerized. And, and this is really the, the architecture choice for uh, exactly what you're asking for, which is the faster rollout of services. Not, not only the faster rollout of services, but also the possibility to provide you know, very diverse uh, services. Because of the possibility to do network slicing, you can differentiate them much more for your customers. Because you can do it on the fly, it means that customers can also be part of enabling these uh, slicing and what type of the service characteristics that they would like for the for the slices. So before you would need to, as an enterprise, uh, define the service you want, ask the operator for it to be set up, wait a couple of weeks, and then it would be set up. But with the uh, SA and containerized uh, solutions, that gives you the possibility to not only do it on the fly, so within minutes you have the service that you want, but also that you're able to self-configure because we have something called exposure in, in 5G SA, which means that the characteristics and the capability of networks are exposed. So you can actually, as a customer, go in and configure a slice yourself and get it set up as an enterprise customer. Wow, okay, this sounds very interesting. Now, do you think a cloud native core will be critical for new LTE IoT services and not just 5G services? It's not uh, necessary. We see a lot of uh, IoT happening even without uh, 5G and maybe also without uh, uh, containerized core. I think IoT, uh, is, is, is happening across the world. I mean, more and more of the devices that, uh, that we have in our, in our homes, as well as what you see uh, um, uh, companies have, are uh, IoT uh, enabled. I mean, the, the Internet of Things is, is here and uh, it will grow tremendously even without 5G. But 5G gives, a, gives that boost. It gives the possibility for the operators to play a much bigger role. Uh, and it also gives a possibility with containerized to not only be limited to the ecosystem that you have as an operator, but also to expand that ecosystem. And, and that's why you might have seen that there's also several announcements that Ericsson has done together with hyperscalers and our customers, because they see, and we see this as a possibility to expand the ecosystem and enable brand new services that would, would not have been created by just keeping in the ecosystem itself before. Okay, Ludwig, my last question. This is very, very important for operators in India. How can 5G core help operators in India target new revenue opportunities or engage in opportunities in even adjacent markets? So, so Rajiv, I'm so glad to see this happening in, uh, in India now. Uh, I've been waiting a bit uh, for it. Uh, of course, as a vendor, you know, we're eager to sell. But, but most important is that we're eager to see economies uh, grow. And now uh, India is really getting onto the 5G bandwagon. We can see the trials are kicking off. They're all uh, SA based. So it's really the, the latest and the greatest of the te technologies. And uh, I see a tremendous possibility for, for India. Why? I see a tremendous possibility for all countries, but for India in particular, I think it's super exciting. Why? Because India has this great mix of both very large uh, SME or very large corporations as well as many, many smaller innovative businesses. And everyone can benefit from the ecosystem that the 5G SA and 5G as a, as a whole creates. And to give some examples of that, we can, and you might have seen that also from the announcements that Ericsson is doing, where it's all across different verticals. So the automobile industry is, is one. The, the financial sector is another one. Uh, the transport sector is another one in terms of you know, ports and airports and such. And um, uh, particularly ports and uh, airports is an area where we see a lot of momentum in, uh, in, in India. But I would say any, any vertical benefits from, uh, from this. Wow, Ludwig, that was absolutely fantastic. You know, this is the kind of stuff I really enjoy talking about. Would love to get down, sit down with you and talk a little bit more about this in a future episode. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you everybody who joined us on the show today. And do remember, we've got lots more coming up, including we're going to show you some actual real life demos, fantastic use cases and demos of what our life is going to be with 5G. Do watch out for that. Thank you.